If your hair feels like crap and doesn't feel like hair anymore, do not bleach it again because it will break and fall off. I happen to learn that the hard way. I just killed a bug. A fly, a mosquito, to be specific. Now there's like parts of his corpse on my window. And I still fucking hear the buzzing sound. Half of it's like f just squished and flying. I'm like, just die already. I don't fucking care. That's why I tried to kill you. I'm so organized for this video. A little more organized than I usually am. Because I made some talking points. Originally, I was going to make a video about me stripping the pink out of my hair. It was like this rose gold color as my hair fade from this. To this. I did not like it. A lot of people did, which I don't care. I want to please myself. I decided to try to strip out the color before bleach bathing it. So that's where my hair fell out. I actually tried to use the more natural version of it uh, using vitamin C tablets, brushing them up into a powder and using Dandruff shampoo, which I don't have right now. It's in my bathroom. And that's that's a walk. Not really a walk, it's like literally 10 feet away from my, from my room, but that takes some effort, okay? Like, I knew it wasn't gonna be this dramatic change or anything, but it was, and it just like, it was like really disappointing to me because this part of my hair turned blonde and then there was like huge chunks of pink right here. My impatient ass did not give a shit. I had school the next day, but if I didn't have school, I would have done it all on the same day and that would have just made the situation even worse. So the next day, I decided to bleach bath it. Sometime in summer, went from this hair color to this by bleach bathing it within a day. And I thought, hey, if I do it again, it'll be fine. No, <laughs> it was not fine. Look at my hair fell out. And what the fuck do you want? Ooh. I need tip. Bleach bathing is putting bleach and dandruff shampoo together. So instead of using vitamin C, you use bleach. And the bleach I use actually doesn't burn my scalp. That's where it all fuckery happened. Big chunk of my hair fell out. I was in the shower, literally traumatized of how much hair I fell out. My hair was super blonde, let me tell you that. But, what? I bleach bath my hair and that's where all the fuckery would happen. <laughs> that's where all my hair fell out and it was just not really, it was horrible. I hate everything about it. So this part is some, that's part of the um, hair that fell out, fun. And also hair. And if I probably look some more places, I'll find more like broken pieces. I overprocessed my hair so much that it just fell off. And I bleached my hair, the top part, five times, and my ends seven times because I previously got done a salon twice to get like an ombre balayage. And my ends are completely dead. Like my hair is comp my whole entire head's beyond dead. Say so after I bleached the fuck out of my hair, I dyed it. This color, A, people were like, why the fuck are you dyeing your hair again? You need to stop. I'm probably never bleaching again, and I'm gonna wait for this hair to properly fade out on its own. I'm so traumatized by my hair, and it's probably gonna take a good five years to go here to grow back there. I'm kind of sad. There's a lot of hair, because I was fine with it being here, because I can hide that easily here. This? No. It got overprocessed because I was bleaching my roots and bleach bath at the same time and both of them overlapped at some areas which are the areas obviously I fell apart too much dye and too much bleaching my hair was already corrupt and very thin I dyed it because it actually makes my hair softer which uh, which kind of makes sense kind of doesn't it doesn't sound like it makes sense because I feel it just sounds like I'm damaging it more but actually I use teleconditioner it camouflage breakage obviously dye versus bleach dye is less significantly damaging to your hair than bleach is i'm gonna teach you what the fuck happened with my hair 
in a little diagram. In my hair. So my hair, a long time ago, like seventh grade, was here. It's not my hair. It was hair, and it was in this black area right here. So obviously that layer has already disappeared, AA from box dyeing it. I should like erase it here after like bleep dyeing it. Box dye obviously takes off that much of hair gone and then bleaching it takes off more layers. Constantly bleaching it, you get your cuticle exposed. You are at the point where it's porous. I don't know how, I didn't look up the pronunciation of this word, but I did look up what it meant and what it means anyway. Which means that there are holes and gaps in the cuticle. Your hair absorbs the mo more. As your hair absorbs more moisture, very prone to frizziness and tangle, not the movie Tangled. They're screaming again. Also became a huge problem when I was dyeing my hair because my hair would not take in the color because it would just absorb the color and not like stay. So this dye is semi-permanent, which is lower levels of the developer and it's gentler on the hair than it is permanent changes such as bleaching your hair or dyeing it with permanent color. This video may not be as most informational to you. But I'm not a hairdresser, not a hairstylist. I don't know hair wise. I just know what I fucked up on and what I did right. So that is my information to you and what not to do your hair mostly. Shit happens. Losing my hair. I'm so scared and I just don't want to touch my hair ever again. I dyed it purple. The one color I tried to go for. <laughs> and long story short, the pink hair. I dyed that dye. I used purple hair dye, which is the same brand as dye I have here, but it says purple. This one says violet. I went to Ulta to get this dye, which is actually more expensive than it is to get online on Amazon. This is six bucks. This is ten dollars. Nine nine nine. Fucking tax and shit. I'm using way more than I did here, which I use like half a bit yes I used up half the bottle with this which is way more pigmented I used up like a quarter of it this one smells like great I think I did all of my talking points so this video is gonna be short hopefully it's gonna be like under 10 minutes my advice to you is make sure you do your information and please be considerate of how fragile your hair is if it's super fragile, try to like spam out how many times you do it. Yes, it's gonna be awkward as fuck, but it's better than better than all your hair falling out. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed my little fucker story.